you wrote that you think the Kings are going to be fine without DeMarcus Cousins, and you're not a hot take guy, Howard. What are you? What are you talking about here? You're not a hot. You're not a hot take guy. But what do you no, think? Thank here? you, Rich. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I've I've got a longstanding reputation as not going contrarian or hot takey just yeah. for the sake of doing it. Right. Um, at the time I wrote that column the other night, I had no idea that I was going to be on such an island. Um, <laughs> it's not that it was a look. It's not that it was a great trade. No one's going to say it was a great trade. I, call, I, I say it's a necessary trade. I said it was the sanest move they've made in years. And that's a low bar, by the way, because they haven't made sane moves. Um, I, I just don't think that DeMarcus Cousins is a guy you can build around. I don't think it's, it's uh, a, a safe or predictable pass forward for anybody. It hasn't been for the Kings. Yes, they have failed him in some ways in terms of the environment, in terms of moves that they've made and moves that they haven't made. But the guy is a powder keg, and he has – just run roughshod over coaches, over teammates. There's so many stories that still haven't even seen the light of day about how bad things have been there at times with him in Sacramento. So getting out from under him, um, not a great haul in return, but as I wrote the other night, there wasn't much out there. And, yeah, they probably should have waited. They probably should have gotten closer to today's deadline to try to ratchet up the pressure or to, to get the market you know, buzzing a little bit more and see if they could have done better if desperation hits some other teams. But that's a risky path, too, because you don't know if the, if the uh, offer from the Pelicans might have disappeared. And there were just weren't that many teams that wanted to take a chance on him. And that says a lot. Look at the teams that were pursuing him. Phoenix, Orlando, the Lakers, the Pelicans. These were desperate losing teams. The good teams, the established teams, the stable teams, weren't making all-out runs to get DeMarcus Cousins. And that's because everybody knows what a risk he is. There are GMs in this league who wouldn't have taken him even if they'd gotten him for free. Wow. And I had somebody basically tell me that in those almost exact words after he got dealt the other day. No kidding. Wow. Didn't want him. Didn't want him. He said, if I got him, I'd cut him. I, I just I, I don't want him in my locker room. <sighs> that was a general manager of a, of a, of a good and uh, respectable NBA team uh, that will probably be in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, there, there, are, there are guys who are just don't want any piece of DeMarcus Cousins because of all that comes with him. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.